What is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Rocky Vlogs. It is day three of the Tripoli, Idaho three-day Memorial Day weekend launch. Uh, we flew all the big rockets, everything already, but I have one more flight. So I'm going to go uh, out there and give you guys kind of another traditional vlog-style vlog video on Rocket Vlogs. So, my AMW 4-inch Big Daddy has only flown one time on a CTI K740 Star. So today, we are going to fly it on an Aerotech K185. People ask me how high it goes. I don't know. It has no altimeters. It's just motor deploy. It's like flying an SS Big Daddy, just one inch bigger in diameter with a lot more impulse. Uh, just throw a tracker in it, parachute in the nose or alongside the motor case because it reaches into the nose, motor deploy, good to go. What I was surprised to find though, when I look back at my sims, um, I have to drill the delay out, which is kind of crazy. A K motor and a rocket that's barely longer than the K motor, but being four inches in diameter is just dragging enough that on a K185, it wants me to drill the delay out by two seconds. Um, I thought I remembered it being the full delay is because the K550 is. It's like 13.8 optimum, so the 14 second delay out of the box in a K550 is perfect, but I have a K185. So, we gotta drill it down to 12 seconds. I know, it looks like a disaster back here. Tracker, nose cone, motor, motor deploy, parachute. That's all we need. What do you think? Bad. No, not bad. Oh, good. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and fly again. <laughs> K375. What do you need tracking for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that it lands this close? <laughs> TJ just flew from this pad 15,000 feet. His flyaway guide lands right there, and the rocket landed right there. All right. It's out there. Let's fly it. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Well. Okay, well, uh, I had some progressive boops coming down way faster than I should have, and then suddenly no boops. So. I think that might be our last venture in Motor Deploy 54s. And uh, I just destroyed another tracker and a 1706 case and a rocket that you can't buy anymore. But uh, this is a whole lot cheaper than the last ballistic flight I had out here with my M2050. But yeah, I was a little worried about the way it took off. It was a little sideways. So I don't know if uh, if it just had too much horizontal velocity or maybe it started coming down before the charge fired, but didn't pop the nose off one way or another. So rest in peace to the biggest daddest. That sucks, it's a cool rocket, but the case at least I can replace. You get the sad shot. She's gone, folks. So yeah, check out patreon.com slash rocket vlogs. <laughs> All right, folks, we are back at my office slash rocket building area. And yes, you can see that it is in the traditional post-launch state of chaos. But yeah, there you go. The spot the Big Daddy used to sit in the background of the videos will now be empty along with a four-inch Big Daddy-shaped hole in my heart. But it is what it is. Sometimes this happens in rocketry, and all we can do is uh, understand that that's part of it and move on. At any rate, thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Rocky Vlogs. I really appreciate you guys being here, and I have a whole bunch of videos uh, that are going to be rolled out. I have the whole video finishing the Honest John and that whole sequence of taking it to a launch and not being able to fly it and yada yada yada, bringing it back and then flying it and it went good. Or maybe it did, I don't know, you haven't seen yet. <laughs> it went good. 
But I'm going to do that alongside all of the other flights we did. I have a cool breakdown video on the history of the two Dark Stars we flew this past weekend. And then I'm also going to roll out videos of each flight just kind of without any context. The setup footage that Shane was graceful enough to shoot for me. Putting them on the pad and everything. The launch. If there's any recovery footage, I'll put those up. So... Basically, I'm just feeling out how shorter format videos are going to do on top of the other videos supplementing. So if people don't want to watch the whole thing uh, about a week or so after that whole video comes out, we'll have a little uh, quick and easy watch the rocket get set up and fly type video uh, for those who aren't interested in listening to me talk. Because I know I'm usually not interested in listening to me talk. Also, I have some pretty cool shirt designs coming out soon, and I do have an Amazon merch plan, so I'll be releasing all of them on both the RocketVlogs.com Teespring site, site, can't talk, as well as on Amazon, available with Amazon merch and all that stuff. So, hopefully there's something there that tickles your fancy, but if not, and you're still watching this video, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters whose names are rolling across the screen right now. If you want to see behind the scenes content, special videos, and early releases, check out patreon.com slash rocketvlogs. It costs as little as $1 a month, but if you do $5 or more a month, we have a quarterly $100 rocket kit giveaway. Or sorry, a caption contest to win a rocket because doing it raffle style is against the law. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you press the like button. It helps a lot more than you know. And remember, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, if we can do it before the end of this calendar year, 2023, I'm going to give away a Lock Precision 7.5 inch Patriot kit, a level 3 sized rocket to one of you guys. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Braden. You just watch Rocket Vlogs. I have a lot of cleaning up to do, and I'll see you next time.